Hi, I'm Morgan. This is the 1000 Scenes Project, and improviser number 54 of 1000 is Raleigh Williams. Hi, Raleigh. Hey, what's up? I'm number 54. That is two deck or one deck of cards and two jokers. That's exactly what 54 is. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, our suggestion for this 54th scene is paradise. Paradise. Cool. You know, uh, you don't have to be scared of death because there's a better world awaiting us. What's that? What's that? I say you don't have to fear death because there's a better world awaiting you. Are you are you saying we're going to die on this paragliding trip? I'm not saying we are going to die, but if there's any part of you that is afraid of death, I'm just saying don't be afraid of it. Hey, man... I don't know if I don't know if this is for me. I just I I really took the whole morning. I got a latte. Got I got myself all psyched up to go paragliding. But I don't. If this if you're saying this is dangerous, I don't think I want to do this. Oh, this is your first time paragliding. Yeah, and I don't want it to be also my last time on account of my gruesome death by paragliding. Oh, it wouldn't be a gruesome death. It would be a wonderful death, a peaceful death. Any kind of death sounds like not the kind of. A trip I'm looking for. Uh, this is my vacation. I get one vacation weekend a, a year. I, I I don't want to spend it getting getting killed. You know what the greatest vacation of all is? Are you, what? Heaven. Uh yeah, yeah they say. What were you hoping to do on vacation? What's the number one thing you were hoping to do other than paragliding? I, I just wanted to relax. Paragliding. I just saw this. Relax. Thing. Yeah, yeah. What's the most relaxing thing you can think of? Uh, uh, drinking, uh, drinking a sensibly priced uh, rum and coke on a uh, on a hardwood floor in a building that is zoned for commercial real estate. Timothy. Yeah. Yeah. In heaven, the drinks are free. There's no commercial zoning, and uh, you're getting a back rub while all that's happening. Martin, I I really wish I could. I could enjoy this as much as you are, but I I feel as though I should tell you that I'm not I'm not fully comfortable with your paragliding uh, tandem uh, company, and I'm not fully I'm full, I'm not fully sure that I want to go with you up up in the airplane today. Uh, I'm sorry if that's jarring to you at all. No, I I just don't fully understand. I mean, best case scenario, you end up in the most amazing place that anyone could end up. In worst case scenario, you have a great time paragliding. I think I'm having a panic attack. I think I'm uh, I think I'm having something of a panic attack. You know, in heaven there are no panic attacks. Well, well right now I'm, there is definitely a panic attack and it's happening right inside my body. Um, okay. well, worst case scenario, we crash and mm. break our necks. What? That will be over in an instant. There will be nothing to, be, to have a panic attack about. You'll be sipping rum and cokes. <sighs> For free all day long. Are you just, you're are you you're turning a little little blue? Are you getting are you breathing? Just uh yeah. Can we can we do a quick a quick loop around the veranda? Can we do a quick walk around? Oh sure yeah. Let's walk okay. around the veranda. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You know if I was to push you over the veranda right now and you were to hit those rocks below, you'd be angry at me on the way down. I'd but be so you mad. The rocks and your head split open. <laughs> because you'd be in heaven. Can I ask you a personal favor? Anything yeah. Can you promise not to murder me? Oh, I wouldn't murder you. I was just giving a hypothetical. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Because those and rocks. You no. Know, once we're up there in the in the paragliding, I'm not. I don't want you to think I'm intentionally going to kill us. I mean, it's yeah. God's plan whether we live or die. And if I see a way to help God's plan along, then I might help it along. But I'm not going to intentionally just murder us. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna just stay on the ground. I'm not fully comfortable with the way you said help God's plan along. What about the way I said help God's plan along? I don't. I, I'm not 100 percent sure if you were intending this, but it sort of implied to me that if if you felt in any way inclined to cause our inevitable death, you would. Oh, you would oh take gosh, that. Timothy. Timothy, do you feel like you have sins that you haven't repented for and that wouldn't enter the Lord's kingdom? I mean, is that what this is about? I, 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 a little. I mean, a little bit. I haven't really considered. Repeat it. after me. I am sorry, Lord, for the transgressions that I have transgressed against you. 
I'm sorry, Lord, for the transgressions that I've transgressed against you. I, I don't see the point of this. I don't. Well, the see. point of that was you're 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 solid gold now, buddy. You're in. You just had to. You just had to ask forgiveness. Yeah, but it's mostly the pain part that I'm worried about. I the well, crashing no pain on them. in heaven. I mean, there might be an incredible amount of pain if, say, like right there, right there. Yeah, that's that's the part that I'm worried about. Oh, the pain right before the paradise. Yeah. Yeah. But have you, you haven't heard that expression, no pain, no gain? I mean, you look like you, you work out a little bit. You, yeah? Uh, we'll you work out a little bit, right? Three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, there, Friday. Because no. sometimes it, your muscles get tired, and you're like, oh, this is kind of painful, right? Yeah. A little bit? Yeah? yeah. Yeah. It's just like that. It's just a little bit more intense and might involve, like, your head caving in like a melon as it skids along the ground. I think I'm going to throw up. I think I'm going to throw up. There's no throw up in heaven. But there's throw up. <coughs> oh. oh. Wow. Oh. Shrimp. You had a lot of shrimp. There's tons of shrimp in heaven. Shrimp cocktail, hibachi shrimp, any kind of shrimp you could name. Uh, look, I, I, thanks for trying to... no shellfish you. allergies. See you there. I get it. I get it, okay? Thanks for thanks for trying to help me out. But I just... I. I don't really see me going paragliding today. I mean, thanks a lot. I think, I think I'm just going to post up here in the nice, safe, wooden, properly constructed deck on this veranda. That's that's all the same to you. Yeah, it seems properly constructed to you. It looks like well, it. Well, I say unto thee that if the Lord wants this veranda to fall into the ocean, and the rocks below, then that's what will happen. And I'm going to. I'm just going to test God's will by jumping up and down a little. Don't, bit. don't, don't! Please stop! Please stop! <laughs> stop! Stop! See, it's not as sturdy as you thought. You see, can you feel the foundation breaking away a little bit? Just a little bit. Oh, there! Okay, here it comes. <coughs> it looks like it's sturdy enough to hold up for now, but you get you get the idea. Look, I really appreciate. All you're trying to do to save my immortal soul, but if it's if it's perfectly okay with you, can you just can you maybe just not try to allow us to ascend into heaven or or or, or do whatever you're doing to help God's will along to hurry us into His kingdom? Sure. Of... Yeah. No. Sure. Sure. I'll just cancel. I'll cancel the flight, and we will not. You know. I guess we'll be. So I'll have to suck up the loss uh, financially and waste a lot of time, but that's cool, you know. Thank you. Sorry, I, I don't mean I don't mean to be a buzzkill. I, I guess I just I guess I just have lived a sort of a life of, of of making sure I live as few risks as possible. And this was going to be my one big risk, but you kind of spooked me out of it, you know. Spooked you out of it, gotcha. yeah. By by promising the kingdom of heaven. Well, it wasn't so much the promise the kingdom of heaven. You sort of implied heavily that you were going to tip the scales towards our gruesome and, and really painful grisly death. Yeah. Well, full disclosure, now that you're, you're definitely not going to take the trip, I was, I was going to make us crash. So, you know, you, you called it. So, you're smart. You're dumb, because we would have gone to heaven, but, yeah. I just had a sense that God wants you, wants your soul. Uh, but hey, you know, enjoy the rest of your vacation. Uh, this is the last you'll see of me until it's too late. So have a have a good enjoy yourself. I'm gonna leave now. I'm not going to uh, be waiting outside the door. Last you'll see of me. Blackout. <laughs> okay. What, well, what I took for uh, a uh, an interesting frozen expression on Raleigh's face appears to be his screen frozen. Uh, hopefully, the video is still recording.
Uh, if it is, I would like to thank Raleigh for doing the scene, and it was very good timing for the little glitch there. And uh, I will allow Raleigh to plug anything he wants in the video comments, so if you see it below, that means that Raleigh did not ascend to heaven in the, at the end of that scene, although that would be appropriate for the scene. Uh, thank you very much, Raleigh, and thanks for watching.